Hello guys, walk 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 back channel. We'll get ahead and do a daily run on ATS today. We'll be using the SCS Volvo V and N. We got a load of uh, cans doing a container trailer. We're heading down to bar store in Bakersfield, California, right now. Ready to roll. Get down right. This truck is awful quiet, so I don't think we need to turn the sound down in this truck. Turn right. Oh, get ready to turn left. Hope everyone's doing well. Hoping to join the content. Turn left. Oh, sorry about that. Um, hope everyone's enjoying the content. More to come, guys. More to come. Turn right. We're going through a hard patch right now. Go ahead and get on the road here. Oh, get ready to turn left. And we'll get a thumbnail. Turn left. Go ahead and get us a thumbnail real quick. I'm going to back it out just a little bit. Go on this side of the truck. I'm not a Volvo fan, but that is a good looking truck. I'm trying to adjust it. Bring it just a little bit. I think that'll be okay. Bring it up. There we go. Got our thumbnail. I am ready for the new one to come out there, guys. I know that SCS is working on a new Volvo, and I'm ready for them to release it. This truck is, uh, it really need to be reworked. I mean, I, even if they didn't release a new one, I'd like to see them rework this one. New interior and everything, it, it really needs to be reworked. It is an older truck. It's been in the game a long time, and so it needs to be redone.
Mustang in front of us. Bring all the fault traffic, no traffic mods at all. I've kind of cut down on some of the cargo packs too. Trying to make the game run a little bit smoother, which uh, it seems like it run a little bit better. A lot more traffic in this version of the game. We're heading to Bakersfield. Oh, what it was, why is it doing that? It run, it run real good this morning. Now it wants to lag. Go straight on. That's right. So I do apologize for that little bit of lag. Straight on. That's right. Yeah, that must be something new that they did in this version. Is you had to have your headlights on during the day. I, I don't know where they get that. Some states don't don't enforce that, and not every state has it. I guess California, the states that's in the game has it, because some states they don't enforce for truck drivers to have their lights on during the day. So I don't know where they're where they're getting that from. Really, right now you wouldn't need them on. Go straight on. That's right. But we digress. It'd be okay. Got us a bottle of water there in case we get thirsty on the trip. So the, uh, the truck's running a uh, bobble engine, 500 horsepower, and a bobble transmission. I guess that's what, <coughs> excuse me, I guess that's one reason why it's a little bit, uh, not as loud, because it's a bobble engine. So we're getting a lot more photos and uh, videos of Oklahoma. She, hold on. Of Oklahoma. Uh, so I would say it would be out next month, uh, June. If we're getting very close to a release date for it, it's coming very soon for what it looks like. Normally that's the way SCS does this. Uh, you know, at first it's, you know, they're quiet. 
you hear nothing for a, uh, you know, a month or two, and then then you may see a little teaser. You know, but when they start getting almost done, that's when they really start teasing stuff. So I would say we're getting pretty close to release date for Oklahoma. And then we'll have Kansas this year. Uh, you know, and we're supposed to have two more trucks. So, which would be awesome. I am doing the profiles a little different this, t uh, this time. I'm not going to do two profiles. I'm going to do one profile because, honest with you, there's, there's enough garages on this one profile that I can do exactly what I want to do with one profile. Have enough, maybe two garages for um, uh, modded trucks. Have enough uh, garages for all the trucks that I want to use myself. And have and hire some drivers. I mean, there's enough garages on here to do it. Like I want it done. So that's what we're gonna do. But I am ready for Kansas and Oklahoma. Texas is a big state, and I really enjoy driving down there, and I love going down there. I love going to every state in the game, but I, it's always nice to see something new. Because it's going to give us you know, more opportunities. It's going to give new companies. Uh, Oklahoma's going to have new companies. Kansas is going to have new companies. Which, you know, that's going to be, you know, for the modders, it's going to bring more for the modders. The modders can, like, the, the real company model we use here, they can add, you know, real companies to the real company mod because you have, you know, the uh, you have the bus company where they're going to be building buses up there in Oklahoma. Well, see, they can make them bluebirds or someone that, you know, build buses. As a tire manufacturing plant up there, they can make that Goodyear. They can make it Michelin. Uh, you know, there's a lot of opportunities for what they can do with this real company mod with these two states coming out, you know. Yeah, and hopefully eventually we'll get more than just Walmart. So I'd love to see some like maybe certain of these stores could be like maybe Publix or, or Kroger, you know, something like that. We're not all of them just a Walmart. I know there's a few. Um, I know there's a few uh, targets going around on, on this uh, mod. So I'd love. I like to see uh, you know maybe you know mix it up a little bit. That would be pretty interesting to see that. Yeah, they wouldn't do it that way. But minor trucks will come back. You know, we, we, I did do a minor truck run last night on my primary channel. So, minor trucks will be coming back. I gotta be. I'm trying to look for one to do for next week. I have not found one that I want to run yet. I'm gonna kind of keep looking around and see what we want to run. I do have John Rudis Freightliner. I guess we could run that. I don't. The other Freightliner that I normally use, the um, Freightliner Classic, has not been updated, so it does not work for the new version of the game. Keep left there. Hopefully, to get updated very soon because I, I would like to get back into that truck because I enjoy driving that one. You know, I, I'm not a Freightliner fan that much, but you know, I'm a Peterbilt fan and all, but I drive all the trucks. You know.
But I mostly, I mostly drive the SCS trucks because, I mean, you know, I get this, you know, I get the question about that all the time. Um, you know, modern trucks are great. You know, the, the moderns, the makers of these trucks, they do awesome jobs. They, uh, Keep they're, they're awesome and trucks. And then exit right. But, you know, when it comes down to the fact that SCS updates this exit game right. so much. They're always updating. They're always, you know, bringing new content out. And a lot of times when they update this game, that mod Turn truck's not going to work. Well, you just spent $200,000 in game money on that truck, and then you maybe drove it once. So that means you got to pick up enough money to buy another truck. If you use the SCS truck, I may have change the engine in this truck, but if you use the SCS truck, right. um, it's going to work. I mean, there may be a sound update you Turn have to right. do, you know, find an engine pack, maybe an engine that you're trying to use for a mod is not working the sound, but it's other than that, the truck's gonna work. It's gonna be there. It's gonna it's gonna work. It's not gonna have all the options and you know the, the customization options. Some of the newer ones will have more, you know, than some of the old ones like this one. But it's it's gonna it's gonna work. And it's not gonna crash your game. And that's one of the main reasons why I use their truck because I, I can I know that I can trust them and I know that they're gonna work when I need them to work. But I know you guys, y'all enjoy modded trucks, and I respect that, and I want to bring that type of content out to you guys. Because I understand, you know, that y'all enjoy them, so turn left. I want to I wanna do that for y'all. But far as me, I prefer these trucks. Oh, get ready to turn left. Turn left. Right, we're going to the Dollar General. This is where it ends, sugar. and start backing her up. This actually may be a default engine for this model. I'll have to look at it and see. I don't think it is. At least it's not right next to the building. That's one of the hardest backing jobs you'll have is getting right next to that building. And these little tight locations like this.
Oh, putting the car in a little bit. I'd get it kind of sharp here. going with this truck come on she don't want to turn today there we go Alright, so we drove extra, we drove 174 miles, take us 5 hours, 37 minutes gear. Here we can see 23.9 gallons of fuel. And I need to see if there's a load we can pick up here. I don't think this will work. Yeah, I don't think this works. I'll see if it works, I don't know. No, okay. I will have to pick up a different load, so. So let's count to that. We know for the fact that that doesn't work. Banning that load. We can't use a car a uh, container for that. So we'll. That's the wrong one. Go here. Let's see what we can pick up. We can do a power generator. I know that'll work. But I need something that's going to be, I know that the jams work. I don't know about the shoes. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for the day video. I had to go ahead and fix that issue before we got off here. But some of these cargo packs, you know, like the one I have for that right there, I'm probably going to just... Turn that one off anyways, but some of these cargo packs, they don't work with a container trailer. They don't give you the container because they're not they're not designed. They're not set up for that. And, and I get that. But thank you for watching. Thank you everyone for coming out and enjoying the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.